Barry Reef has a wonderful array of fish. But really the things that to me are the most spectacular, the ones I know the least about, and that's the enormous variety of marine invertebrates. It's an enormous number of species. It's pretty hard not to have a day where you don't see something you've never seen before. In mid-1967, there was an application to mine on Ellison Reef. The man who wanted to mine it for limestone actually called it a dead reef. I and a group of colleagues who had been studying coral reefs and fish were actually asked to go and carry out a scientific survey of the reef to determine if what he said was true. We spent five days diving and found it to be a perfectly normal reef, which certainly should not be allowed to be mined. The Queensland government of the day's attitude was that the reef was a nice pile of limestone that could be carted away to Southeast Asia and made into cement. The Queensland Premier, Job Joker Peterson, thought that mining lots of reefs on the Barrier Reef would create lots of employment. He completely misjudged the Queensland public. I had to start obviously working full time just as a Barrier Reef campaigner. The volume of mail, requests for information, and of course media interviews was just endless. The final decision over the mining application came about seven months later. It was only saying there would be no mining at Ellison Reef. The really big shock came on the 24th of December, 1968. The thought of having an oil industry throughout the reef region potentially was just appalling. I thought this was going to be a lot harder fight because this was the world's oil industry wanting to get a toehold and that was a, <laughs> a very frightening prospect. We needed people all over the world to say to the Australian government, please don't do that. We want to come and visit Australia and visit the Barrier Reef. So please don't drill the reef. People responded, they really did. I mean, our politicians got a deluge of international attention on the issue. And I think they started to realize this really was going to impact on Australian tourism. Having that national legislation passed really was the decisive moment in 1975. The entire Barrier Reef region was proclaimed a marine park. No oil drilling, no mining, and that was the, the day we thought, oh, we've actually succeeded. <laughs> How about that? The reef isn't completely safe. Most particularly, we have to deal with climate change. Fortunately, kids from high school students and even younger are going to really make the difference if they just keep on, keep it up. That's what we did. Don't shut up, keep it up. <laughs> <laughs>